Hi folks, one of the hardest things about editing your G-code or your post processor is figuring out where to start. So we've got an awesome solution for this today. It's a piece of software called Visual Studio Code and it's free and it's amazing because here's what we're gonna show you today. We're gonna show you how in Visual Studio Code you can double click on a line of your posted G-code out of Fusion and it's gonna show you what section of your post processor made that G-code. This massively breaks down the barriers to entry to tweak or modify your post processor and is really just an awesome tool. To start, you need to go to Visual Studio and download it. It is for free. We've got the links to do all of that over on NYC CNC card here to hop over to that page. Once you've got Visual Studio Code installed, click on the gear extensions and type in HSM. This Autodesk Fusion 360 post processor option will pop up. You'll click install. Next, type in NC and choose NC G code. Now you don't need this, but it's gonna help format your syntax and color code your G code, and it doesn't cost anything, so go ahead and install that. And lastly, if you wanna replicate the purple color that we're using here, type in purple and choose shades of purple and install that. I had some trouble getting the purple to stick, so I had to go to help, welcome, and choose color theme and reselect that shades of purple. Next, click on that gear again and go to settings. Type in HSM, and that's gonna bring up the settings for the HSM post utility. I'm working in inches, so I've changed it from the default metric over to inches. And I've got a couple other settings here chosen like post on CNC selection and post on save. You can also choose to shorten the output line of your G-code. So sometimes when we're debugging, I don't need to see a five or 10,000 line code for a surfacing operation or an adaptive. Usually I just need to see things like the header, the start and the end of the code. So this can help truncate that and make it easier to debug. I've left mine at 5,000, but you may wanna go as short as 50. And finally, if you want to use this when you post code from Fusion 360 or edit your post processor, which I recommend you do, what we're gonna do is hop into your Fusion account, click on your name, preferences, manufacture, and you'll use an external editor. The trick to find the link is to search for it on your Windows start bar, right click on the program, properties, and you can now copy and paste this target location. All that you need to do when you do that is delete the start and end quotation. So how does this work? Well, we're gonna start with an awesome example. It's from an NYC CNC member who was trying to get a old machine up and working. I believe it was a retrofit. There's no support out there for these things, so you're kind of on your own. So we're gonna choose open file and navigate to his post. I'm gonna open this post right here. Now it's a turning post processor, and his problem was he didn't want a G95 line. With the post open, I'm going to expand this CNC selector. If you don't see that, make sure you've got the Explorer option chosen in the top left of your screen. Because this is a turning post, I'm gonna expand turning, and I'll pick face. When I choose face, what Visual Studio Code is doing with the HSM plugin is it's creating a totally generic G-code program. So this isn't of any use for you to run on your machine, but it's an easy way to quickly get your post to generate some sample code. And in this case, it would work perfectly. The modification I need to make is I don't want this G95 here. So by double clicking on it, it automatically jumps to the section in the post that created that G95. What's even better is I can pretty quickly read this line of code, even if I'm new to post processors, and you can see Okay, G modal feed rate format 95, awesome. I'm gonna select all of that, delete it, hit control S to save, and when I save it, it reposts and deleted that line. It's just that simple. Now let's show how you can use this same process but with your posted G code instead of this sample G code. Before we do that though, it's a good reminder to always be incredibly careful when you're modifying post processors. I always recommend copying the post processor out, put it in a quarantine folder, modifying it separately from the main post. That way you can always go back or refer back to the original post and be very careful when you run a new post processor for the first time. In order to evaluate our posted code in Visual Studio Code, hit F1 
and type download CNC exporting post. This should auto populate. And when you click that, it will let you save a CPS file. A little Windows glitch here, I'm gonna delete that and I'll save this CPS file right now here to my temp folder. I'm now gonna take this sample part. This is actually the part that we make in our five axis training class. A card here to the NYC CNC uh, hands-on and online training classes that we offer. I'm gonna take this folder post process and I'm gonna navigate to where I just downloaded that new CPS post and you'll see it pop up in the drop down. It should say export CNC file to Visual Studio Code. Click post and I'm gonna put that in a special folder so I know where it is. We get a warning pop up that this may be unsafe. That's okay, you can click yes. All that you're gonna get is a confirmation screen success. Now I'm gonna close that OTA post, that lathe post that we were just using because that's not what I wanna use right now. Now what I wanna do is copy out our UMC 750 post, because that's the post that I would normally be using to create this code, and that's the post that we would then want to modify or edit. So to do that, I've to date been using the installed post library. So these are the posts that come with Fusion 360, uh, in this case, the UMC 750. So I've selected that from this dropdown list, choose Open Config, and that pops it open in Visual Studio Code. But I don't really like that right now because if I save this, I'm potentially saving or overwriting that main post. So I'm gonna to go to File, Save As, and I'm gonna call this JWS Temp. That way I know I'm working in a quarantined or separated post processor. I'm gonna close my 1001 NC here, expand the CNC selector, expand custom, and you should see the 1001.nc file that we just posted from Fusion 360. Double click that. This generates that G code with the post that we just imported. So this is going to let us edit our G code. So now whatever I click on, it's gonna take me to that section of the post processor that created that code. It could be as simple as clicking this G17 that shows me where in the post that was written, or we could search for an open paren. It's gonna take me all the way down to the next operation, and I can see what caused this feed rate of F650 to be written. You'll notice some exclamation points and white text here. That ties back to the fact that we have our settings currently limiting our output code to 5,000 lines. We could change that if we need to see longer code. For more examples and resources, check out the NYC CNC page under Fusion 360 on post processors. We've got numerous different videos walking through examples of how to edit and tweak and learn post processors. And on cam.autodesk.com forward slash posts, not only are there a huge number of posts available and often updated for many different types of CNC machines, but there's an awesome PDF manual that's free for anyone to download and read through that is really the definitive guide to learning and modifying post processors. So absolutely take advantage of this as a free and very helpful resource. Big shout out to two folks, George and Devin. Both these guys are solid guys who have really done a lot to pay it forward. I took George's class at Autodesk University where I first learned about this, and Devin was kind enough to give me a video tutorial and kind of walk through this privately, and we're happy to share this with you. As always, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.